Okay, guys, welcome back to another ROM overview. Uh, this one here is Benzo uh, for the Nexus 6. Uh, this is the re latest release of Benzo ROM. Uh, I am also running with this uh, Benzo kernel, uh, which I didn't flash uh, because it's built right into the ROM, uh, although you can download uh, Benzo kernel and flash it at will. Uh, it works very nice. Uh, it's based on Hell's Core. Uh, it has uh, quite a few uh, hot plug options to it if you guys uh, are into hot plugs. Um, I do like the Mako hot plug, so I use it a lot. Uh, I want to try to make this quick, guys. I know my videos go long. Um, I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can. So we're going to go to About Phone. Um, you guys can see this is Benzo, uh, is for in its uh, version 601, that's the Android version. Uh, security patch is April 2nd. Um, this is the uh, April 12th uh, release. Uh, I am running Benzo Core Kernel, as I mentioned, build number M0 or MOB30D. Uh, uh, let me see, anything else here? Uh, SV Linux uh, Permissive. Uh, that's one of the things I like about Benzo uh, Kernel. Uh, just like the Hell's Core, you can flash the Hell's Core Permissive. Uh, that's what I like. There are a couple ro or apps that I run that needs that uh, Permissive Kernel. Uh, so it really works out nice. Uh, Super Sue, this is the version that comes with it. Um, of course, I haven't updated anything. Uh, it is version two, uh, 270. Uh, this is what comes with the ROM. I didn't have to flash. All I flashed was the ROM and G apps. Uh, and I am using uh, uh, Dirty Unicorn uh, TVO Clear G apps. Um, I think the release on that was April, I want to say, I don't know, April 15th, somewhere around there, April 9th maybe. Uh, they are updated. The last ones before that were March 27th. So these are the most up-to-date uh, G apps from Dirty Unicorn. Um, developer options, I always go through there. Uh, it does have the advanced reboot uh, menu, or yeah, the uh, how to turn the advanced reboot menu on right there. Uh, of, course, of course, OEM unlock. Uh, you have your ADB uh, or your USB debugging. You want to make sure that's on. Uh, this does give you the uh, local terminal bug uh, and your uh, bug report shortcut. Uh, for those of you guys that know how to take logs, uh, they do come in handy. Um, although I have an app that I use for that. Uh, if you scroll down to the drawing section, um, they do not have the uh, uh, multi-window feature here. They are in the advanced settings. Uh, and again, the same uh, is for the uh, last app. Uh, stop button. Now, this ROM comes with LMT service uh, pre-installed, and it, it's turned on by default. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with LMT, uh, it is basically that. Uh, it's Pi. Uh, so it does come right, as soon as you turn the ROM on and get it going, the first thing that you're going to see is SuperSuit come up asking permission for LMT services. I remember using this clean back when I was on my next or on my Note 2. Uh, was the first I was introduced to LMT. It's awesome. It works. Uh, this is security. You have your unknown sources. Make sure that is turned on. Uh, and of course, you have pinning at the bottom. Your screen pinning. Um, I'm going to skip over a lot of this because it's just pretty much the same. Uh, you do have a kernel manager in this uh, because it has its own uh, kernel built in, Benzo kernel, uh, which is what I'm speaking of. Uh, there are a lot of options you can go with that. Um, your basic CPU, you can go all the way up to your max uh, 2649 megahertz, uh, and you can drop all the way down to 35 megahertz, which is how I set mine up uh, with a conservative governor. Uh, I use that along with the Mako hot plug, which is all the way down at the bottom. I'll show you guys the hot plugs. Uh, you have MPC, your MP decision uh, in Teleplug. Uh, then you have the Blue Plug from Blue Kernel, uh, MSM Hot Plug. Uh, next up is Mako, which is what I am using. Those are my settings. You, if you guys want to use Mako and have it work, uh, put your settings exactly to this. And 
and that's pretty much it. Uh, then you have the MSMMP decision hot plug, and last but not least, your debt, your Zen decision. Uh, one of the main reasons I really like uh, this kernel, other than the Mako hot plug, is it comes with the USB fast charge. So plugging in, I was at about 15% about 30 minutes ago. Uh, I plugged it in, and within that 30 minutes, I'm up to 80% charge. All right, let's get out of there and go to what everybody wants to see, the Benzo Extras. And there are a ton. This is one of those uh, layer-supported ROMs that just has loads of custom features. Uh, first up is Ad Blocker. Uh, you have uh, Ad Blocking if you guys want to use it. Uh, here's where it is at. Uh, it is, I had it already turned on earlier and rebooted. Uh, then you have your App Circle Bar. I've uh, showed you guys in the past how to use that. Uh, I will set it up quickly uh, just so you can get an idea of how it works. Oops, and you got to hit OK for it to work. Uh, click OK, uh, trigger width. Um, and then when you hit it, the, only the apps that you picked will show up. It's, a, it's just another way to get uh, uh, to your apps, your most used apps, quickly. Uh, then, of course, you have your app sidebar. Uh, if you turn that on, everything is over on the left, just like the circle bar, only it will be a sidebar. Uh, you can um, set up the content you want in it. You basically just drag them over like that, like that, like that, like that. Uh, click Save. And then when you go back, uh, let's see, I want to trigger width. We're going to make it a little bit wide, trigger position, uh, right about center. Uh, now when you touch it, all the apps that you put in this bar will be there. So it's basically the same as the circle bar. I like the circle bar better. Uh, I think you can get through your apps a lot better. If you put quite a few of them on there, you've got to slide up and down on that. It's kind of hard to get to, but it's still a good um, it's a good mod to have, uh, and uh, I just love it that it's included. Uh, then, of course, you have your battery bar. If you guys use it, you know me, I love it. Uh, so there is that. Uh, then you have the equalizer. Um, this does come with Viper for Android, uh, just so you guys know. There it is. Uh, LCD density, you can change that if you want. Um, I would make a backup before you do that. It does come with Gesture Anywhere. Uh, you do have your Pi settings. This is LMT. I have it activated right now. I only activated it for uh, the um, the video. Um, to be honest with you, I don't use Pi, so for the rest of the video, I am going to shut it off so I don't accidentally hit it. Just let me make sure it's not there, and it's gone. Good. Uh, next up will be your... Uh, your uh, uh, PA Pi Control, your Paranoid Android Pi Control. Uh, you can turn that on instead of the LMT, and that should be there. Yep, and that's Paranoid Android. So it gives you a couple different ways of using Pi if you guys like it. Uh, there you have it. Uh, it comes with Wake Lock Blocker. You can set that up if you want. Uh, now under your system settings, you have animations. You can go through there and set up all your animations the way you like to do that. Under buttons, uh, you have your power menu. Uh, this quite a few uh, features. On, I mean, if this, <laughs> to me, if this was not a layer-supported ROM, this would be a ROM I would run every single day. Um, there's a lot of custom features to this. Uh, I just like it. Um, then you have your lock screen torch. Uh, you know, press power button twice for your camera, and so on and so on. Just all kinds of controls for your buttons. Uh, heads up display. Uh, here is where you have that up. That app. I do not run it, but uh, for those of you that do, there it is. Uh, you have your home switcher. I'm running Nova Launcher, of course. Uh, lock screen settings, font options, media cover art. You have your key guard, uh, status bar clock, all that is there. Blur settings, if you guys like to use the blur settings. Uh, and then, of course, you have your lock screen alpha and bouncer options. Um, underneath that are your weather options. 
you can go to this the display options uh, that's the options for that uh, then your of course your local settings and then of course you, you have your screen cut your screen shortcuts these are your middle shortcuts you can add uh, shortcuts to the center of your lock screen if you want uh, simply by hitting the add button picking what you want uh, we'll go direct dial for one um, I'll pick that one um, add another one we'll go bookmarks add another one we'll this time we will go with uh, an app and we'll pick uh, my three minute settings and good to go now when I hit my uh, lock screen uh, you will see my center shortcuts are there Uh, then you have your bottom shortcuts. You can change those as well. And then all the way at the bottom is your uh, uh, your lock screen wallpaper. And you can set it back to the stock uh, if you so choose. All right. Where, where, where are we at here? Uh, more settings. Uh, you can disable force close notifications. Um, media scanner, behavior on boot, multi-window mode. Uh, and then, of course, your uh, volume dialog transparency. Um, next up is going to be nav bar, uh, which is nice. They give you the option to color it. I like that. Um, it's just great. They uh, All kinds of options in this ROM. Uh, notification drawer. Uh, you can choose your quick pull down, uh, whether you want it right, left, or not at all. Uh, then, of course, uh, you have your brightness slider, brightness icons, um, Force expanded notifications, task manager, weather. Uh, they do have the contextual header right here. Uh, they give you the option to run whatever you have. Since I have screwed already um, loaded in my primary spot, I'm running multi-ROM. Uh, I have several ROMs on here. Uh, it picked up that I have a screwed header in here somewhere and wanted to know if I wanted to run it. Uh, yes, I'd rather run it than the nature or the poly. So that is what I'm running. Uh, this uh, header is from screwed under quick settings you have your quick tiles this is where you can pick and choose as you can see <laughs> I've got a lot of mine already chosen and that is what I didn't choose so uh, Benzo puts a lot of uh, a lot of um, you know things to choose from here a lot of options you know me I love my options uh, enable Q, uh, QS um, your addition icon uh, in large first row uh, you got to be careful uh, show four tiles per row that's uh, on by default unless you guys like that uh, I actually like the three tiles per row uh, so if you pull your drop down down and notice it's got four rows that's the reason why just go back in here and uh, tick that back to three or just turn it off next up are your recents I uh, have the search bar and memory bar thank you very much Benzo for that uh, I love my memory bar hate the search bar uh, but I know a lot of people that love the search bar hate the memory bar options I love to have options uh, full screen uh, that's what I have mine set up uh, then if you tick on full screen that gives you the option to show clock show date uh, of course there's your clear all button uh, clear all tasks, uh, and then you can set it up to where you want the button at. I have mine at the bottom left. Uh, they do have Omni Switch on here and uh, Slim Recents, and you can set up your Slim Recents down here at the bottom. <clears throat> this cold is killing me. I can't wait to, till this thing is gone. Uh, last but not least are your status bar settings. Uh, of course, you have battery. I have mine hidden because I am running the three-minute mod. Uh, Benzo ROM logo, uh, which is really cool. Uh, so you know me, if they have a logo, I am absolutely going to run it. And they give you the option to color it. Uh, then you have your brightness control, breathing notifications, carrier la label. Uh, I think I do have a carrier label. Let me check my lock screen. Uh, I think it should say Benzo. Yeah, Benzo 601. Uh, clock and date. Um, I do have it colored for some reason. It's not staying colored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off, 
turn it back on. There it is, colored. Uh, and I have the uh, alignment centered uh, AM, PM under normal, uh, date under normal. Uh, you guys can set it up however you like. Network and trafficking, uh, if you guys want to have that in there. Uh, I just chose not to put it in this time, uh, but that's where you would set that up at. Uh, status bar icons, this is where you can pick and choose what you even want to show. Uh, let's see, I don't want cast, do not disturb, ethernet. Uh, let's see, work profile, uh, VPN, or wired headset. Uh, then, of course, we have the temperature. Uh, the only thing I'd like is if they would have that colored, but I'm just glad at least that it's there. And that's it, guys. This is uh, Benzo ROM for the Nexus 6. Um, I think it's an outstanding ROM, guys. It is layer supported. Uh, I would throw a layers uh, theme on here for you, uh, but I would have to reboot it. And since I'm running a uh, AZ screen recorder, there would be absolutely no way uh, that I could fit this all into one video. Um, so, I mean, that's just the way it is. That's the way layers is. It'd be great if you could do it uh, without, you know, without that, but you can't. Um, I will say one thing. Uh, this outline layers, uh, if you guys don't like a real dark layers, uh, this is a pretty cool layers theme. I highly recommend it. Uh, the icons are... Uh, kind of outlined. Uh, they're clear, kind of like what that marshmallow uh, picture looks like up here. Um, so it's a pretty cool theme to run, uh, as well as Black Lantern. Uh, if you guys like it dark, uh, this is a dark theme. Uh, dark, it's black and white pretty much. Uh, and it is, uh, it's awesome. Um, it's one of those, uh, uh, one of those good uh, battery saving uh, themes. If you have an AMOLED or Super AMOLED screen, uh, such as uh, I have, and I also highly recommend Navigate, uh, and I do recommend that you get the uh, Donate version because you get more. Uh, but uh, these are for your nav bars. You can change them around to pretty much whatever you want. Um, I really like the Google, uh, the Google one, and there's a couple other ones here I really like. They, if you're into comic book heroes, they have Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, Flash, all that, Red Arrow. Uh, they have all those in here, uh, quite a few to choose from. Um, and even the free version has a ton of, uh, nav, of uh, nav bar options to choose from. So I highly recommend that one too. All right, guys. Uh, I think I'm done. Um, again, this is Benzo Rom. Uh, this is the latest version, uh, middle April uh, release. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's layer supported. Uh, I just want to take this time to thank all of my subscribers. And I will see you guys on the next one.